Sunday from sunny Arizona. Uh, there's an event that's taking place next weekend, Far Out Fest. I'm going to be there. His band that he manages is going to be there, Canned Heat. Skip, so much. thank you so much for joining me here on this uh, well hot day for everybody. Well, it's a pleasure to be on the phone with you, and it'll be, I'm really looking forward to being up there in Canada and getting out of uh, 107, 108 degrees every day here at my house. Well, it won't be that hot, but it'll be a, it'll be a good time. Uh, like I was telling you before we started recording, hospitality up here is second to none. So tell me about um, how the show came together. Uh, a lot of people, when when they saw it announced, they were like, "Canned Heat is playing," and they were expecting like a bigger city like Halifax. These guys scooped them at a festival down in, in the South Shore of Nova Scotia. Um, how did this all come together? Uh, we we heard about it, and uh, there was an agent. Uh, in Las Vegas, celebrity talent that I've worked with once or twice, and an agent contacted me, and the next thing I knew, uh, there was an offer from the committee there, and uh, from Jason Saulnier, the promoter, who's also a guitar player and has a band, I guess, and uh, and I put together what I thought we needed in order to do it, because we we like to do far out things and here's the far out festival yeah, absolutely so you know after uh, i've been doing this with can heat on and off for 56 years so i've been their manager and agent and producer produced all their hits back in the uh, 60s and early 70s and uh, it's my family band i work with a lot of other bands and have through the years but can heat's my my favorite and my family band, and uh, we, we just thought this might be a great thing to do, and I know that uh, the people up there have gone out of their way to accommodate us and make it work, and I certainly am hoping that uh, the population up there and the folks get out and get to the festival because they'll see a band that they probably have never seen live, and uh, in my 56 years of traveling the world with this band and with other bands, Can Heat's the best outdoor festival band there is. They, they normally close every show that they play, and no, no other band wants to follow them. With, because, I mean, it still is blues-based, jam-based, and yet they have uh, hit records, and they've had, you know, three top ten singles in Canada, uh, with the first one being on the road again way back in 67, 68, and then uh, going up the country and let's work together. And uh, we've had a lot of other uh, musical success in Canada and played almost every festival that's ever been there over the years, and we love it up there. And people seem to appreciate the music. The environment is great. Uh, it's never too hot. Uh, you got to deal with the rain, and you don't come in the winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have uh, we have some pretty unforgiving winters up here. Um, so, yeah. obviously, everybody's life was put on hold the last couple of years. Um, now, with things opening back up, uh, is this is this one of the first events that the, the Can Heat's going to be doing, obviously with a lot, you know, a, a number of others, or, you know, did they get, get at it right out of the gates? What did they do during their downtime? Uh, well, we didn't really play at all till March. We did, uh, we did a cruise in March of this year in the Caribbean with, uh, with uh, 17 other bands called the Flower Power Cruise with a lot of, uh, 60s and 70s bands. It's just with 5,000 people on board, 15 deck cruise ship, celebrity cruise ship, and it was it's fantastic. It's the second time we've done that, and we get to play outdoors there uh, on the top deck with all the people in their bathing suits and holding a beer in one hand and a joint in the other, <laughs> and uh, tie dye shirts and whatever. And we played uh, with. They just played in Canada, in uh, up in Oregon this past weekend, and we did uh, a few shows back east uh, at the end of March, beginning of April at the East Coast. So this is the first uh, festival type uh, we've played in in two years, 
and looking forward to it. So Sean here with Skip Taylor, manager, agent, producer, pretty much jack of all trades of canned heat. And um, next weekend, so uh, Far Out Festival, Friday and Saturday next weekend in beautiful Matagan, Nova Scotia. And for nobody or people that don't know where that is, if you look on a map, it's down south almost by Digby, some great fishing and whatnot. Um, what 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 lineup are we going to see with the, with these fine folks when we see them next weekend? Well, we still have uh, we've got uh, three guys we've had for quite a while. Uh, Tito De La Paris, the drummer, and he's been there for 54 years. I actually put him in the band, so I've been there even a little longer than Tito. And uh, but he's considered an original drummer, and uh, the other drummer only played for a little bit. And uh, so Fido's still there. We have Dale Spaulding on harmonica, vocals, guitar. He's now been there 15 years. Um, Rick Reed is the bass player, and he's uh, his past it includes Paul Butterfield and uh, Charlie Musselwhite, Bonnie Reed, lots of uh, other famous groups, and he's been with us now for a few years. And the newest member... Uh, that the folks of Nova Scotia are going to get to see is Jimmy Vivino. Jimmy Vivino was the musical director for 26 years on the Conan O'Brien TV show oh, wow. on television, and he's played with just about everybody you can imagine and knows just about every musician because of dealing with them on that TV show for all those years. But people don't realize this is one of the greatest guitar players on earth, period. And as he says, he's been in Canned Heat since he was 13, which uh, <laughs> is kind of a strange uh, thing to say. But he's been, Canned Heat has been his favorite band his whole life, and now he is in the band. And he knows the history, he knows the songs. He plays uh, different guitars, very similar to original members, Alan Wilson, Henry Vestine, and it's just, and he's an amazing guy, and a pleasure to have as part of Cam Heat now. That's amazing, and, and I'll tell you what, what you're going to get out here, because of our geography, um, we don't have, uh, the for we're not fortunate to necessarily have a lot of live shows out here on a regular basis. It's hard for bands to get out here and tour and, and, and what have you. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a super appreciative audience because any time that we get anybody out here, um, it's great. But uh, a band of this caliber, I mean, the whole province is buzzing. It's going to be it's going to be a fun weekend. Well, I, I'm hoping so because I, I tell you, it's, you know, we tell people all the time that we don't get paid to play music. The band loves to play. The most fun they have in their best time of their life is that hour, hour and a half that they're up on a stage, especially if it's an outdoor festival, and especially if it's in a place where they don't usually get to see bands of this caliber. But getting there is what we get paid for. And I can tell you that day before yesterday, Air Canada canceled all our flights out of L.A. that I've had booked for a few weeks. And I had to spend an entire day, eight and a half hours actually, on the phone back and forth with Air Canada to just rebook our flights. And I mean, we're talking uh, guys going from Los Angeles, you know, to either Toronto or Montreal and then to Halifax. We've got one guy going from New Orleans to Indianapolis to Toronto to Halifax. Wow. I go from Tucson, Arizona to L.A. to Montreal to Halifax. So it's a, you know, it's an all-day event just getting there. And uh, people don't understand that travel today is harder than ever. We used to love to uh, get out of our house and go. But the, the flight schedules today are limited. The expense of the flights are ridiculous, just totally ridiculous. Yes, I yeah. mean, uh, for the five of us to get there, it's it's costing over eight thousand dollars. Yeah, and, and <laughs> you know, and that's that's crazy. And I mean, now keep in mind that's probably Canadian, so we have the peso up here, so that's probably like uh, you know twenty five hundred American. I'm only joking, but you know. Um, no, no, that's U.S. dollars. Wow, that's U.S. dollars. Oh wow, well, that's that's, that's like. <laughs> I, you know, thanks. 
thanks to the to Jason and Leon and uh, Darren and the volunteers and the committee and the people who are putting up money there in Nova Scotia and Halifax area. Um, you know, our airfares have been paid, but it's it's a big expense for everybody and way more. It's twice as much uh, as it was the last time we went to Canada. Right. You know, so I mean the air the airlines are are basically. Uh, raping everyone and I understand that jet fuel is more costly these days and the crews are less, uh, they have less pilots and less flight crews and that's why they cancel flights yeah. and uh, hopefully our flights will be on time and we'll be there we're coming in the day ahead of time and uh, and then we have to travel I guess from uh, Halifax out to the site is another two and a half or three hours Yeah, so. it's, it, but beautiful country and you know I'm glad, in a strange way, you're bringing this up because a lot of people don't realize, you know, you mentioned the hour and a half on stage. People think that's what they're paying for. They're not paying for that. They're paying for all the hours that, that these guys learn to play, all year work, the travel, the this, the that. Like, people don't understand what the real cost of a ticket dollar is, right? No, I mean, it, you know, this band has been around for 56 years, and I've been with them from day one. <laughs> And a lot of, I, I work with other bands through the years, but this is like my family band. And uh, we've gone through tragedies, and we've gone through uh, deaths, and we've gone through amazing uh, musical experiences and brought back to uh, history, through history, people from the early blues days of Sunhouse and Skip James and Albert Collins and John Lee Hooker and the people that we've made an effort to introduce to the white audience around the world and show them what blues music is and what what blues and rock combined can be and uh, fortunately have had, have had experiences all over the world and played in South America, Central America, Mexico, Canada, Japan, all over Europe, we've been to Europe 80 times. Wow. You know? wow. I mean, they're, that's our biggest market, and we still love going to Europe. And we've been to Canada probably 15 or 16 times and played, I think, every festival there. Fantastic. So, so you know. I want to be respectful of your time, <laughs> sir, um, and I really appreciate you for doing this. And um, we're... In preparation for next weekend, you told me before we started recording, but where are my listeners and viewers going to find information? Well, we know about the festival. Where are they going to find the latest and greatest in Can Heat? Uh, you should go to the website, which is www.cannedheatmusic.com. And uh, all of our information is there. The history is there, bio, tour dates, pictures, uh all the commercials our music has been used for, all the movies that we've had uh, our music in. Uh, there, there's a lot of history on that website. We try to update it every year and uh, keep it active. And uh, you can go to YouTube or Spotify, and you'll find all kinds of videos and, and music of Can Heat. It's there playing with various different members and, and uh, different uh, musicians of, of the history of, of music. Mr. Taylor, I certainly hope I have the pleasure of meeting you next weekend. I'm really looking forward to this. I want to thank you for your time. Go enjoy your day in 107 degree Arizona, my friend. <laughs> thank you, Sean. That's why they make uh, swimming pools and air conditioners. I'd never, li <laughs> I'd never leave it. We'll see you up there in a week. You bet, Take my friend. Care. Thank hope you. everybody comes out who can who can possibly get there Saturday night. We play at 9 o'clock. I hope we'll see a lot of folks out there. I'll be there with Canadian beer in hand. All right. Don't forget to boogie. No, sir. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.